All right, have and have not fans for new viewers. Welcome to the channel. I hope you definitely take the time to look around my videos, playlist to have a lot to offer you in terms of entertainment and thought provoking videos. So you know what that means, right? Take the time, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content that I put on the channel. So with that being said, we're going to dive into this video now before I get started. Of course, I'm doing my, you know, subscribe to the channel promotion, but what I want everybody to do is if you haven't had the chance, be sure to follow Miss Veronica Harrington on Instagram, aka Angela Robinson. I'll have a link to her Instagram in the description below. She is almost at 60,000 followers, so be sure to show her some love. Go over, follow her on Instagram. And thirdly, before getting into the video itself, what I want to do, because I know that lately these videos have definitely been causing controversy in the comments because, you know, some of these uh, viewers, you all are going at it in the comment section below with each other or because you disagree with me. Hey, that's all good. But really, I want this video to be open. Have an open mind before you comment. I can already see a bunch of dislikes and people saying, this is clickbait. You're just making this video to make money. No. I'm doing this video almost like a part two to the video I did maybe a week and a half ago about is Derek's is Derek Jeffrey's father. Yeah, I think it was after we found out that Veronica and Derek had sex at least once in the past after she got him out of jail. That video did pretty well. I think it's over 10,000 views already, if not more. And people in the comments section, and this is why I'm doing this video because enough people contacted me personally and were like, Jeremy, do a video because what if, what if Derek has the lion tattoo? He was the man that raped Hannah when she was younger, and that's how she had Candace. But then, you know, when he got out of jail, thanks to Veronica, she ended up getting knocked up by him and became, you know, Jeffrey's real father. So... Wouldn't that mean that in a way that Jeffrey and Candace are like half brother and half sister? Oh boy. Um, first off, don't blame me. The fans wanted me to do this video. What would that do to the new dynamic of the show? Um, really, I don't know if it would do much of anything different. I feel like the major concern there would be the fact that, uh, in a twisted way, wouldn't that mean, wait, okay, if Jeffrey and Candace had the same father, then that would mean they would be half siblings, but brother and sister, Candace and Benny, because they had the same mother, so since Derek, let's say hypothetically speaking, Derek is the father of Candace and Jeffrey making them half siblings, would Benny not be Jeffrey's half brother because of the fact that they have different parents completely because Benny is the result of Tony and Hannah, not Hannah and Derek. So the reason I bring that up is because it would be really incestual if Jeffrey kissed Benny when that was his half brother. Remember back in season two when um, Jeffrey opened the door to his apartment because Benny was out and around looking for where Jeffrey was. Uh, excuse me, where Candace was, and she was at Jeffrey's apartment, and Jeffrey kissed Benny as soon as he opened the door because Candace had said he she was going to send a man over to his apartment. So, yeah, that's the only thing that would have made me go, wow. But aside from that, I really don't see what difference that would make. I mean, if I mean, when you really think about it, Candace treats Jeffrey like a younger brother anyway. Um... Uh, yeah, that would be pretty weird. And then you can think about it like Veronica and Candace have like a, a mother and teenage daughter rivalry there. You know, when girls get to a certain age, you know, um, them and their mother kind of square up against each other. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest here. I really don't know what kind of difference that would make to the overall story. I mean, that's the reason I'm doing the video, because people are like, what if Jeffrey and Candace are brother and sister will half siblings? Or, or just in general, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think that would make much of a difference because they never really knew each other until their adult lives or at least their college age lives. And I, I guess Jeffrey would be 
thankful because, you know, his sister helped him come out of the closet. And what if it's a prince and a pauper kind of situation where it's like you grew up in a lap of luxury and I grew up on the rough side of town and whatnot. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure Candace is more content with how she grew up because she would love not have living with, you know, the hell that Jeffrey probably went through in Veronica's house. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is a bit too far fetched. I mean, it. I feel like it would be more interesting if Derek was Jeffrey's father instead of David, rather than Derek being Candace's father and Jeffrey's father at the same time. I don't know. I feel like my brain literally fried just kind of trying to think about what this would do to the overall story because we already seen how Candace treats her sibling Benny so I don't know what it would be if she had a you know a gay half brother yeah so I'm sorry I feel like I disappointed people with this video I really to honestly I don't feel like it would bring anything different to the show I really don't because I feel like the only thing that Derek could bring to the show in terms of character development would be if he was Candace's father. I feel like the big question would be how will Candace act if she finally meets her father face to face, which she's never known him. And of course, how would Hannah reaction be to dating the man that raped her? And then also the fact that I feel like if Jeffrey's father was really Derek, that would be very interesting to, uh, see how that would turn out but to be honest I don't think in a disrespectful way that he would dismiss Derek but at the same time I feel like David has been so much of a good man and father that Jeffrey is always going to look to him as his father anyway kind of like if you watch the sister sister series um, what was it when Tia and Tamara's uh, biological father came in like one of the later seasons I think like the last season of the series it didn't matter because um, of course they wanted to get to know their father, which they did. Well, I mean, obviously there's no, I, I do believe a reboot is in the works, but you know, the last episode was when Lisa and, uh, Ray's college buddy got married. And then we know that in the upcoming, after, you know, the upcoming summer, I think that Tia was going to work for a woman's basketball team, like an advertising or something like that. And I think Tamara was going to go on a, um, safari with her father because I think that's what he does he takes wildlife photos or something like that and at the end of the day even though they met their biological father it didn't matter in the sense that Ray and Lisa were still their parents no matter what I believe their mother passed away but their father came into their lives and they wanted to get to know them know him so that was great but at the same time I feel like with Jeffrey the same thing applies he's always going to see David as his father he would want probably want to get to know Derek but at the same time David is you know really who his father is but I feel like Derek would make more sense on the young side of the tracks because Derek's character would have a lot more to offer in terms of character growth for both Hannah and Candace when it comes to the Harrington side of the tracks the only thing we know of in terms of him being connected to them is that Veronica got him off and then they had sex and then he cleaned up his life and she pretty much handed him off to a bunch of her other rich friends to do contract work. So that's pretty much my theory with that. I feel like Candace and Jeffrey being siblings is a bit unlikely, but like I said before, I made this, videos bec this video because the fans wanted me to. To be honest, I don't think those two being half-siblings would do anything different to their characters as a whole. So, that's just my two cents. But, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think these two are possibly related? If they are, does it really even matter? So, yeah, subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And also any new theory videos you want me to work on in the near future.